Good morning. Okay. Well, you don't see any naked people in the background, okay? <clears throat> if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lois. And uh, I upload here to, to YouTube every other day. And then every other day, when I'm not here, I'm over on Facebook. So, make sure you can find me at Lufer there. <coughs> Coffee went down the wrong hole. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not getting sick yet. Hi, Yvonne! <laughs> I know it's just coming because my kids are getting sick. Like, half of them already got it. So I'm just waiting. <laughs> Hi, Lorraine. Good morning. Oh, it feels good to rub my eyes. Oh, I think I just want to go back to bed. It wasn't like I was up till like 12 or 1 talking with friends. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I don't do those things. Oh, goodness. Moses is down here chewing on something by my foot. It's like he has to have it pressed up right against my foot. What's he doing? What? Where's that baby doing? Oh, Pikachu come running over here. <laughs> it's all your fault. It's all your fault. Do I look blurry? Let me see. Okay. Oh, goodness. I talked to him. Now he's up here. He loves my, this pillow right here. He loves it. He tries to snatch it off the bed every chance he gets. No, you can't have my pillow. <laughs> He's got his paw on this, on this toy. You want this? Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> Did you, I don't know if you could see him, but he already had it in his mouth. Like He's about to drag it off the bed. He was real slick yesterday. Before I started my video, he did get up there and he had it and he started to pull it off the bed. He had it halfway down to be real sneaky. I said, uh uh, you better drop that. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Lorraine. I appreciate it. So he did drop it, but he almost got it. Alright, so I am, I'm gonna, I'm trying this stuff out. Okay, so you guys know the serum that I use for like wrinkle control and I use it for under the eyes. That's, it's called Mira. This is like a trial size one. I did buy a few of these because I do like the way the skin feels. I don't use it on the rest of the face um, because it's like 10 bucks for this little trial size one. But they also had one for like clarity. I used this last... Thank you. I used this last night. So this one is a different one. So I have two. This one's for clarity. I also got one for like dark spots or whatever. But I have a few of them because I liked that one so much that I bought some to sell. Because I get a lot of people that ask me like what do I, need? What do I use for my skin? Do I look blurry? know why I look blurry okay a lot of people ask me like what do I use for my skin I don't know a whole lot about skincare but I know I really liked this brand so I put some of this last night like right along here and here and I feel like it's already clearing up already so I'm like score <laughs> where do you get the oils um one of my clients that I clean his house had had them and he was selling them so I just bought in bulk everything and he gave me a little bit of a discount so I can still make a little bit of money on them. And he gave me um, he gave me some bigger bottles of, of the stuff from the same brand. So You know what, that did make me feel like it, break, it broke me out a little bit, like especially along the chin. But I think a lot of it's probably stress. It's stress and most likely my diet. <laughs> Um, I didn't have a single soda yesterday. Not a single one. I, you know, I, and I felt like, I felt like I was hungry all day. Like, I don't know if it's because I was wanting a soda so bad, but I was good. I did not drink a single soda. Hi, hi, Andrea. So I'm trying to cut back for a while there. That's all I was drinking soda all day long, and I even had clients that were telling me like. I don't know what just happened. My phone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I have a client, whenever I come in, she goes, did you bring a water? And I'm like, no. <laughs> She's like, we'll go in my fridge and get a water. I know, Allie. I was just, I don't know. I was going through a fit where I felt like I needed to drink it all day. So I'm trying to cut back. I don't know if I can just give it all up right away. But I'm, I'm I didn't have a single one yesterday. So maybe we can go for <laughs> two days in a row. We're going to see. 
I used to only drink soda if we went out, which wasn't very often because it's hard to do that when you have seven kids. Hi, Michelle. So most of the time, I would drink, you know, water. I lied, not a whole lot of water, but I would drink stuff like sweet tea or whatever. That was mostly water. But, you know, that's just my logic, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I don't like the flavor shots. <laughs> I don't like anything that's, like, artificially, like, like, how do you explain it? Like, if it's, I don't like those, like, flavored waters. You haven't drank soda since February? That's hard. Hands down to you, girl. <laughs> Oh snap, you know what, um, I forgot I was on YouTube today, so, Yvonne, I don't know how, to, I don't know how to bring, I don't know how to guest people on YouTube, but we could do it tomorrow maybe, I forgot every other day I'm on Facebook, so we might have to do that tomorrow, what I was telling you about, we were going to do. You know I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we may have to do it tomorrow when we're over, over on Facebook. We're having, I don't think you can guest people. I don't know. Let me see. Can I click on people? And bring, share. Wait. I'm going to click. I'm going to put user in timeout. Hide user. No, I don't want to put user in timeout. Okay. Alright, tomorrow is Friday, so he should. they should be there. Am I going to do a monochromatic look? Um, no. <laughs> I'm going to do it on Friday. And the reason being is I'm going to go do somebody's makeup this morning before I go to work. And she wants to see... Well, first of all, I'm doing a shadow cruise. And second of all, the colors that were picked by a certain somebody were so similar to the colors from yesterday. I picked the fourth color. So there was like three colors. So I picked a fourth color just for a pop of color. <laughs> but I'm going to wear that eye look today just to show the person that I'm supposed to go do today how to wear color with a natural eye, like a nude eye type deal, if that makes sense. It, they were kind of similar. I didn't draw black. Thank goodness. Goodness. No black. You know, this just tells me that I have way too many nudes in my collection and I need to get more color. <laughs> keep drawing browns. I don't prefer nude colors. So somebody, somebody try to set me up the same colors from yesterday. I'm crossing them off as I'm going so it's not the same exact colors or like different palettes or whatever but ah, I can't. I have butter fingers today. Okay. I need to wash my brushes. Okay. Yes, don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to do a monochromatic look tomorrow. So that's basically going to be like um, nice, a nice fall look. so excited too because I had bought one of those lipsticks um, which one is it? Vivid Burgundy the shade here let me just show you how, how and these things are like they feel like they're so budge proof as long as you don't like eat anything crazy and it dries down completely matte good morning Elizabeth Good morning. Yeah, it dries down completely matte, and then, oh my gosh, it's they're pretty, they're pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh no, did I kill my battery on this? I did, didn't I? Ah. All right, let me mix up my foundations. I need to wash my brushes because I have two 
of those Bicos brushes and both of them are dirty. So I'm going to use a different brush today. I know I'm going to regret this, but I need to find one that's going to be stiff like that one. I don't know. I don't think I have one. Hold on. Oh yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. Hold on. I got a Morphe one I can use that I got for my month. I got my Ips, not Ipsy, Lit Monthly. I was kind of disappointed. Uh, lit Monthly this month was terrible. Just terrible. Okay, I'm going to use this one. It's the first one. <laughs> like, ah. was the bag it came in so they gave us a little fall bag but even then I'm just like I don't care about your bag I like the products but the products were not that great the lip liner was a metallic lip liner I may end up gifting some of those the stuff that I get you guys would be would you be upset if I like gifted you a product I got in one of my bags when something but didn't use it you know what I'm saying like I swatched it would you be upset if I like sent it and was like Hey, I know I swatched it, but it's just not my cup of tea. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Would you guys be like, no, she didn't. Just send me something she swatched. Um, from what I understand, he did so far. I don't know. I haven't heard, since I last heard, but that wouldn't bother you, okay? I got a lip crayon in from Lip Monthly. That was not. <laughs> well, I'm not broke out yet, <laughs> or right now. That's what would you do if somebody said that? Like, what would you do if like somebody had? stuff all over their lips and they're just like would you like to try some of my lipstick <laughs> I was like, oh, no girl no what is that <laughs> we tell you break out a knife and you like cut off the top layer of it. <laughs> like, what are you doing girl <laughs> no thank you <laughs> oh goodness gracious that's funny So those lip liners, those she lip liners that I have recently just like been going and going over. Um, <laughs> your finance, <laughs> it's pretty funny actually. Um, but those lip liners, the she lip liners. So I had went through because um, Snow, I don't know if she's here right now, but said that she wanted one of each color. And so I had last night stayed up pretty late I was talking with Yvonne last night pretty late and while I was talking to her I was she said she wanted one of each so I counted them out and I wrote down the name of each color so I know I didn't give her doubles there were 31 colors and so I wrote her and I'm like are you sure you want one of each color that's like it's like that's like $93 in lip liners girl and she was like yeah I'll take them I'm like okay <laughs> Okay, I don't know why my phone keeps, hold on, hi Misty, why my phone keeps doing that, but it is um, acting up. I don't know why my Bluetooth won't turn off, but it just won't. Connection failed, okay. Let me turn this off, maybe, maybe it's trying to connect to my, um, to my watch. I was trying to connect before I went live. <laughs> yeah, and but you know, they even had purple and stuff in there. Like, I didn't even realize when I grabbed them because when I first got them the first time, I only grabbed like a few nudes and some reds. And then um, when I went back to get a bunch, I was like, dang, they got purples, they got oranges, they had colors like peach and apricot and 
they had a colored called nude, just nude. They have all kinds of hot pink. They have mauve. I mean, they had all kinds of colors. Just, I didn't even realize. So, there, I grabbed two of each color. That way, if somebody did buy up one, there was still an extra one. No, these ones are um, a brand called She. H-H-S-H-E. I had um, picked up a bunch of them from the beauty supply store. You're glad you caught me alive. Have you been missing us, Misty? You been missing us, girl. Did you see that Manny and Way is probably launching another product? <laughs> you always catch me in the end. He posted a thing on Instagram, Lunar Beauty did, that I guess there's a new, there's a new, um, item coming out. They don't know exactly what, like, nobody knows because he didn't say what it was. But he hasn't been active on social media at all, and so the only, the first thing he does is come out with another freaking, like, come on, man. You should be active first. That's like me disappearing for, like, a month and then coming back going, guess what, I got stuff to sell you <laughs> And I don't know what happened to Jaclyn Hill's video, but she uploaded one yesterday and I went to go watch it this morning. And it's gone. She deleted it or privated it. So you can't even watch her video now. So it's like, what in the world did you do, lady? Why did you delete your video? She must she must have got like some backlash about something she did because it was it was um it was the video was 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 named something like Face full of bomb products. Hey, mom. shelf that way it ain't nasty whenever I go to, if I go to use it tomorrow okay. yeah it's either talking the victim's father is on video right now he's alive he said that if they didn't get him in and stabilize him when they did he would have died So the bus driver took him to the hospital. I did not know that. Fire station. Took him to the fire station. So I guess if he hadn't taken them, if the bus driver hadn't have taken them, the, the student there, then he would have died. Can you imagine sending your, your kid off to school and finding out they got shot? That's just crazy. That's my kids at school too, that, that bus goes to my kids' school. I had people calling me yesterday and texting me, how are your kids doing? Are your kids okay? It's so scary. Yeah. Hi, John. How are ya? Good morning. <laughs> You ready for work? Taking that baby to school. <laughs> Just ducky. I like that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, 
do your hair, Jay? Need a haircut. His hair is getting long. He likes his, he doesn't like it in his haircut, so he likes long hair. Nicholas, when he was little, we didn't cut his hair until he started kindergarten. His hair was so long. Everyone thought he was a little girl. He was so cute. He had like big old eyes, big old lips. Everyone, everyone thought he was like the cutest little girl. I'm like, that's a little boy. He's in like basketball shorts and like a t-shirt that says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, and they thought he was a little girl. I'm like, come on, man. My little girl would have like bows in her hair and stuff. She don't keep them in. I, I do put bows in her hair. I do. You go back and look at all her baby pictures. She had so many bows. You know those like hanging things with the pockets all in them? She had three or she had four of those filled front and back with just bows and headbands and just different stuff. I would always keep a headband or a bow on her. And she got to wear, um, now she's big enough. Like she takes them out now. So I'm like, she'll put them on too by herself. That's crazy. That's charming. Did you watch it, Mom? <laughs> that was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> Just terrible. Uh, uncomfortable and comfortable at the same time. I don't. I don't know. I can't think of anything. I might have. I can't think of anything right. Like, what are you wearing that's comfortable and uncomfortable at the same time? I'm curious. <laughs> okay, that dried down. Do you see how pretty that is? I want to do an eye look with that color. Oh, wait, Shiner. Oh, man. I don't know if I could wear those. Especially, have you seen how some people, like, tighten them so much? They look I'm like, are you breaking your ribs? Holy cow. probably need one as big as I am. <laughs> Might do me some good. Like, I know that the, like, the Kardashians got a lot of heat because right after they had their baby, they started wearing uh, waist trainers. Itchy at night. Do you get sweaty in your leggings and you're just like... <laughs> and then they're hard to get off because you're sweaty and then it's like you're trying to take them off. Have you ever tried to put them on right after the shower and you're like wet and you can't get them off your legs? I did not pass the application to wear leggings, so I don't wear leggings. Yeah. Okay, let me get this. Let me get this. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid to do this. Okay. This powder, I'm trying, I need to mix more of my CoverGirl powder, so I don't have any mix, so I'm using my Airspun, and it's like a mess. Sorry for the tapping. I'm trying to get all this excess off. Okay.
feel like that really lightens my, my foundation. That's why I like the cover girl and stuff. And is it, do any of you guys have air spun? Doesn't the um, powder smell like old lady? <laughs> no offense if you're old lady, but I'm just saying. It reminds you of an old lady. Like it reminds you of like watching one of those like black and white movies. The ladies are just sitting there with a like little poof and powdering her face. And it just smells like that. You know what I'm saying? It's the weirdest thing. Like how do you put a scent to, a, to something you watch? It's just really weird. That's what that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Let me use a different brush. I wonder if I probably need to wash the crap out of that brush. I've been using it a lot. This is so cute. This is one of those limited edition wet and wild um this is a bronzing brush or contouring brush i can't remember it's either bronzing or contouring so walmart finally those paint palettes that i told you are good for halloween wet and wild ones they have them out now at walgreens and walmart I saw them yesterday so if you need a good um paint palette for halloween that's not like cheap and like melts when you're putting it on your face Go get one of those, I'm telling you. They're like five bucks, but they're very pigmented. They blend really nicely. You can use them in your everyday makeup look if you wanted to. They're just really nice. And I think, you know, they have like four different palettes you can choose from. There's a metallic, there's a neutrals, there's a bright, and there's a pastel. So you can get one, like if you plan to do like a scary look, probably the neutrals, because the neutrals come with a burnt, like a maroon color that looks like it could pass for blood if you were to tear it out and put it, you know, on the face or whatever, or on the neck. You could draw lines with it, like, it looks really cool. Zombie Red Riding Hood, that sounds really interesting. They have the paint palette or the paint pots too, which is like a single color. They have them in black and they have them in white. And I lived by those. Okay, so that that look that you saw me do with the um, the sugar skull one, I used I used the white paint pot to do my face with that. And I've used them also in face painting whenever I have somebody, you know, when I do face painting for a church because we do like the fall festival. Whenever we do the fall festival and I set up a table for face painting, I always make sure I have those. Always, always, always. In the crayons. They also have like a multi-use crayon. So Fantasy Makers is the name of the line. And I'm telling you, everything that I've used from Fantasy Makers, except for the lipsticks, Lipsticks are okay. They're not the best. I don't know why, but this video keeps cutting out. Now blush. Let's use some blush. I'm going to use this one. This is the one from Studio Makeup. That's the one I'll be using today. Mega red lips. Oh, blacked out eyes. That sounds scary. Hey, guess what? Guess, can y'all guess? Yvonne bought the last two eyeliners that I needed to sell. So you know what that means? What does that mean? Number two, y'all better start voting now. Y'all better go to that post and place your bets because I'm going to pick whichever one has the most. And you can't vote for two. If you vote for two, I'm not going to count your vote. So you better go back and edit your comment if you voted. And there's two comments or two, two. You need to pick one, only one. That way I can get a fair count of which look to do. I'll probably do it Saturday after 
soccer because I don't think I'll have enough time um, today or tomorrow. That's your vote is number two. <laughs> I'm so excited! I really like doing creative stuff. I do, I do, I do. And I'm only a hundred dollars away from getting additional points to go to uh, Maui. Like I'm on the leaderboard. I'm number four. Amanda's number five, so she's right there on my on my my coattail, trying to trying to claw her way up my back. I like I see you there, girl. Trying to give me. So I need to sell another hundred dollars to get to the next level up, so I get more points. Well, I don't think it's a level up. It's just on the on this like contest thing for the trip, you get extra points when you reach like a thousand dollars in sales for the month. Okay, you do that. Make sure you do. Sometimes I have to look straight on it and make sure that I'm making the line straight. If not, you'll have a crooked looking nose. The original pioneers need to keep the board. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you can't lean back in it. Oh my goodness. That is, oh. How is it comfortable then, girl? How do you bend over? <laughs> you to straighten up your back and <laughs> like, oh, I'll get that. Number two. Yeah, y'all make sure that you guys vote on the post because I'm going to be looking on that post whenever I go to look to see which look to do. I'll be looking at that particular post. It does help your posture. I got terrible posture. Just awful posture. Hi, Christine. Good morning. All right. Where is my? Here it is. I see it. I see it. This fine Thursday, a few times a week for a few hours. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you like, how long are you supposed to wear it? I, do you wear it when you, you supposed to wear it when you work out? You wear it just like randomly, like around the house? You throw this on my question, John. What's your question? I'm looking. As soon as she eats her DD as she wants once a week. Her DD, her DD. What was I talking about? Dunkin' Donuts? Is it Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> 46. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all didn't know that? Yeah, that's what a kidnapper is. So 
So you guys are like professional Dunkin' Donut breakfast people. You know who has the the best frozen coffee? Y'all never guess. Y'all never guess. Never guess who. Very addictive. Very addictive. I would have to have one every single day. Dairy Queen. They have something called a moo latte. <laughs> Sounds funny. I know. Jazzy is, yes. Girl, my kind of girl. So, Dairy Queen has a moo latte and they take. What do you need every day? Okay. So, it's called a moo latte. So, they take the cup before they put anything in it and they drizzle their um, chocolate fudge stuff, whatever it is. They take the cup and they tilt it and they drizzle it all on the inside of the cup. Then they fill it with all the coffee and since the frozen coffee is cold, that gets kind of like, I don't, it's not hard, but it gets firm. So like you take your, your, your straw that's like kind of like a spoon at the bottom and you like end up scraping it out. Oh, it's so good. And she likes it once a week. Every couple of weeks, girl, we need to get, we need to bump that up a little bit. Bump it up. She is so cute. So cute. And sweet, too. Like a little lady she is. She's got a little, she's got a little gift in the um, package I just mailed. I think it was like two or three days shipped, so you guys should get it Friday, Saturday at the latest, I think. I can't remember what the... Pack, what the slip said but she's got a little something something in the bag I really do like this color okay it's not overwhelming a dusty rose color. Alright. It's just messy. I that's the only thing about loose powders is that they're so messy. I have this song stuck in my head. And if I wasn't sitting here alive I'd probably be singing it. But I'm not gonna do that and scare y'all away. <laughs> and YouTube will ding you for having music. They're like you know what they'll tell you? Like if they find out that you have unauthorized music in your video they will literally if you trying to reach for it which one this is my right is it this right here it keeps coming back down is it this one you're gonna have to come you're gonna have to come to Jacksonville and fix it in person in person all right, sorry guys. I am, um, I'm gonna need to get in prison. I'm sorry. I don't know, my phone's just been acting up. I don't know, you think after you pay so much for a phone it wouldn't do stuff like that? But it has a mind of its own. I don't know, it could just be the app. Hi, Louise! Is everyone unfrozen now? We are having so many issues with YouTube today. I wonder if it's my phone or if it's just YouTube. Like, I got off the Wi-Fi, and now it should be. Are you guys unfrozen now? Is it showing on my end that I'm unfrozen? Okay. Sorry, guys. Got it. Okay, good, good, good. I was gonna have to restart my phone. I didn't wanna go through all that drama. <laughs> Thank you, Lorraine. She's like my cheerleader over here. You're so sweet. She's like, come on, y'all. <laughs> 
Oh, y'all know I can't talk and do brows, so bear with me. This one feels like it's getting really, really stiff. I don't know if this was the black or the espresso, but it feels like it's getting dried out. Like, I need a new tube. Focus, focus. Got one done. Finally. All right, random question. Random question. What is your favorite flavor coffee? Like, do you like flavored? You like hot coffee with like flavored cream in it or do you like the frozen coffee like you like a frappe like a caramel frappe or a mocha like hazelnut hazelnut's pretty good too do you like your coffee like straight black iced coffee mocha that sounds so yummy you know i like frozen coffees better than iced coffees though i have to be honest i do Frappes. What flavor frappe? Good morning. You know, I can drink coffee anyway. It doesn't matter if it was hot and now it's cold. I'll still drink it. And I'm like, it reminds me of a cold coffee now. <laughs> That's so crazy. Isn't it? Now, I don't like to get it cold if it's a hot coffee, but... Oh, that sounds so good. You're running late. I hear you, girl. You are late for a very important date. Amanda tagged me in something. Alright, is there anybody else here that has decided that they can make it to um, the connection meeting that hasn't registered yet? Mom, don't worry. I will register you. And you ain't got to say nothing. I'm going to get you, man. Don't you worry. Make sure if you register, you use my name as the affiliate that referred you. Because if I get five people to register, I get a special gift. And I think it's points to go towards Maui. So, I need to get five people to come. That's not an affiliate. Aww. 
even if you go to another like another city if you register to go to another city you can still use my name and I'll still get points yeah I already know mom was over there typing it up Lois you gotta register me <laughs> I have to cover that before she does and I got your lip liner and lipstick in my purse okay I'm coming over to do Margaret's makeup this morning Sophia is going to Amy's house today. I think I have to double check with her, but this stuff is so dry. Okay, that's the best it's going to get. I ain't going to keep messing with it. I do need to brush it out. Where is Kathy? Kathy on here today? I ain't seen my girl and Michelle Rainwood. Hi, Snow. Good morning. All right. You made it just in time for prayer. We're just about ready. Does anybody have any prayer requests before we start? See, there's not as much of a lag on YouTube as there is on Facebook. So I'll see him a lot faster this way. while you guys are thinking about that. Hi Shelly, how's JR doing? And how was work yesterday? If you ain't learning, you ain't growing, so that's good. Alright, we're going to go ahead and pray. We're going to add JR to the list. We're going to praise that he's doing better. Oh my gosh, what's his name, Andrea? Alright, just go ahead and bow your head. We're going to go ahead and pray. I'm going to also add a few like other instances going on, like the, the shooting victim from the school here from yesterday. And um, I have a friend named Wendy at church who has a daughter who's going off to college. So we're going to pray for her too because we do prayer request cards and she um, asks us to pray for that. <laughs> So, all right, Lord, we just come to you this morning. I want to thank you so much again for each and every person that's here, Lord, whether they're watching this live or watching the replay. I just pray that you just bless each and every single one of them today and just guide them as they're going throughout their day and, and making decisions that glorify you, Lord. And I just pray that I just pray that they know that you're in control. So if they're battling something right now, Lord, whether it's spiritual or emotional or physical. Lord, I, I just pray that you just make your presence known and let them know that you are in control and that you have their best interests at heart and that you love them and that they can get through it because of you. Lord, I'm going to ask right now that um, you just continue to improve JR's situation. Lord, we just praise you for working in that situation and we just, we just pray that he can find comfort throughout this whole process with him getting better. And Lord, just be with Shelly as she's going to her new job again today. Also, Lord, for J R J, I'm sorry, R J, who had, I just said J R R J, who had a blood vessel bust in his eye, Lord, and I pray that this does not affect his vision. I pray that you just be with the doctors as they um, do surgery or whatever they need to do, Lord. I just pray that you, your hands be their hands, Lord, and just make this as as minimal as possible for him. Also, for the shooting victim from yesterday, I believe his last name was Willis. Wills or Willis, I just pray that this young man 
is able to make a full recovery and he's able to um, come home soon and be with his family who loves him. Lord, I pray for the, the person that shot him. I just pray you just touch his heart and you change his mind for him being the way he is, Lord. I just pray for justice to be done in this situation and that you're able to change this person from the inside. Also, for Wendy, whose daughter is going off to college, Lord, I just pray that you you be with her daughter as she makes this transition into um, this part of her life, Lord. She's growing up and she's moving on to do amazing things. And Lord, I just pray you be with her and help guide her in her decisions. And also for Wendy, because that's her baby. And I just pray, I just pray that you be with her and I know she's going to miss her so much. So I just pray that you're able to give her a little bit of peace and um, that she's not going to be one of those hovering moms that calls her every five minutes to make sure she's okay. Lord, I just pray that you just be with her and you give her some comfort and just some rest and knowing that you are taking care of her daughter. We love you, Lord, for everything you do in our lives and that you continue to do. In Jesus' name, amen. I don't know what I would do when my kids go off to college. Oh my goodness, I might be that. I might be that person. Goodness gracious, you know he might have literally cried his eyeballs out, girl. Literally cried his eyeballs out. Can you imagine? All right, so here's the colors. All right, well one of them's going back to school today, and the other one is not. All right, so this is the bomb cosmetics. So this is a smoke bomb, and there's a color in here called smoking. So we're gonna use this one. Okay. Okay, that's one. Another color that was chosen was in here, and it's in the color. This is the 24K palette. I don't even. I didn't even swatch all of these. Do you see? You can tell which ones I used. Um, so the color I used in here was, I'm trying to look at what color was it, what color was it, I think it was called Real, it is called Real, I see I swatched it right there, okay, yeah, it's the only one I swatched, I haven't even used this palette right here, yes, yeah, she's going to have to do lots of face, -up. I know Wendy, and that is her baby, that's her youngest, so she is going to... You don't miss her as much. I don't miss your laundry. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. All right. So that color was called Real. All right. So then she drew another color out of this Makeup Revolution Mermaids Forever palette. And the color that I drew in here was this silver right here. It has a little bit of a glitter flex in it. And of course, I'm going to have to. All right. This is what I found in these palettes. I love Makeup Revolution, but in these palettes that have the black cases, do you see this film over the top? I feel like I can't even swatch it because it's not like coming out. So what you do is you take a piece of scotch tape. Yes, I keep it on my vanity for these reasons. Okay, so when you have this issue where you feel like nothing's coming out of the pan, you just take the scotch tape, right? You place it over top of the eyeshadow and you just press. You can even scratch. You need to get that oily film off the top of that eyeshadow. Or you can use this on blushes, anything that might have this issue. It's just like an oily. I don't know if it's from the way they pressed it and maybe when you push on it, the oils kind of squish to the surface and cause whatever because I have literally washed my hands and then swatched something and it's done this. So once you, once you do that and you feel like you got it, you pull it off and that oily film is right there on the top. So it exposes um, the rest of the eyeshadow. And if you feel like you need to do that again, you can do it again. It just depends on how deep it goes. So now I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a brush instead of using my finger. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I'm gonna try. Who learned something new? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's kind of doing it again, but that's why I don't really that's why I don't really care for these palettes. Not I love makeup revolution, but this particular the this particular line of palettes are just crap. 
Right, I know, I know, I know. That's exactly what she told me to do. Okay, so there's that shade. And then I drew a fourth color out of here. This is Rue 21's um, Rose Garden Palette. It's a limited edition. And, oops. So, this is what it looks like. And the color I drew was um, Harmony. This color right here. So it's like a peachy color. That's why I'm wearing the shirt that I'm wearing today because it matches. Oh, booyah. Okay. Now, now, girls, let's get busy. Let's get to business. Business time, y'all. Business meeting has started. Please shut your cell phones off. Don't do that because then you'd be exiting the video. Please turn your ringers off. This meeting has started. All right. So under eye primer, if you guys are going to wear um, eyeshadow under the eye and you have an issue with the eyeshadow not showing up like you want it to, totally use an eyeshadow primer. If you don't have an under eye primer, just use your regular eyeshadow primer, but it's not as hydrating. Like the ones that are made for the under eye are usually hydrating and you kind of want as much hydration as you can when you're dealing with the under eye area. I feel like a teacher of a class. I feel like my bun and my informative talk totally giving me like teacher status video here I'm just gonna pat this down you can even use your finger to pat it down and it doesn't matter see how bright and patchy it kind of looks you're gonna put eyeshadow over it so it really doesn't matter how it looks Ooh, hello okay that dog trying to come over here and steal my pillow. I might have to like <laughs> beat him up. Now, I am going to use this peach color as a transition shade. Yes, I am. I am, I am, I am. All right. So here goes. You need me to zoom in a little more. Are you really? You getting the green one? Girl, that's the worst one. I heard that green eyeshadow was the worst one. Make sure you watch some reviews on that before you get it. I'm like, girl, with all that stuff that was going on, I'm just like, uh, Morphe? Girl. I need to uh, step up your game. Slytherin. Oh, you're a Harry Potter friend. You're a Harry Potter friend. You're one of those friends that love Harry Potter. I have a Harry Potter um, brush. I meant to. I forgot. Who was it that got all those Harry Potter brushes? Was it Becky? Who was it? Somebody got all those Harry Potter brushes from me and I left one in my collection. I didn't mean to. I should have sold that one too. Y'all remind me, in my auctions, who was it? You, I like BH also. Yes, I love me some BH, girl. Amanda was the one that kind of turned me on to BH. I didn't even know about BH cosmetics until Amanda was like hardcore vouching for them. All right. Now that I peached it up, I'm not going to worry about blending out at the top until I go to do my underbrow. <laughs> I made a new word. Yes. Okay. Are you really? Yeah, I bought the wands, the collection for the, like the wands. I bought those and then I ended up not even using them. So I sold them in an auction that I did and I left one out. It was um, like an angled, it almost is like a brow one, but it's too big to be brow. I don't understand. 
like a, where it can't, like, what you could use it for, because it's big, it's like fat and big. So it's like a little longer than this, but it's thick. All right, I'm gonna go in with that color. Um, trying to figure out what I'm. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna incorporate the silver and the brown. Here, oh yeah, I've been to Universal. Um, we we visited there too. I like that drink they have with. Um, I do. I have a lot of BH palettes. Um, the drink with the little green stuff. What is that called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't got to tell y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't even got to sit here and pretend I know what it's called. And I have no idea. <laughs> Let me use a different brush. Use my little Luxie brush. Butterbeer is so good too, yes. Butterbeer is delicious. I thought it had alcohol in it. There's no alcohol in butter beer. None. Alright. I'm going to try something different. I was going to put silver on the outer edge, but I'm going to do something a little different. No, there's not. I know. Girl, it's so good, Christine. I have tried to make butter beer at home after we got home from Universal, and it's not the same not the same at all it's like a caramel drink it's foamy oh it is so good so good you have got to try it Christine I'm telling you you will like die like we <laughs> we drink when we shared one at first and I was like I want my own I do I want my own so we ended up getting more because I was like being greedy yes it's so good I was like, where's the beer in this butter beer, y'all? This stuff's missing, y'all. Come on, man. I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah, it's butterscotch. That's what it is. It's butterscotch. Thank you. They're like, Lois, come on. We know you don't. You, we know you're not a Harry Potter fan. If you didn't know it, it's butterscotch. I'm like, I know. I'm sorry. I love Harry Potter, but I'm not, like, diehard fan. Like, I know all the details. I have watched all the movies. What's your favorite Harry Potter movie? That's what I want to know. Which one was your favorite? Kind of sad that they all grew up and they're not making them anymore. Weren't they going to make like um, videos for like their kids and stuff? I thought they were coming out with a new series. Was that just a dream I had or what? You've only seen the first one, Michelle? Just the first one? Have you not seen any other ones? All right, thumbs up if you have a favorite Harry Potter movie. If you've only seen one, then that's your favorite. Okay, I'm just saying. They're taking a little long to uh, come out with the next, the next one. They were popping them out left and right, so I don't know why. It's taking them so long. Somebody needs to like write a letter. Love them all, okay? Okay, don't make me choose. You need to choose. That's just the rule. We're gonna make you choose. It's like saying, You've never seen any of them, girl? I like the very first one. That was my favorite one. Cursed Child, huh? Cursed Child, that sounds like my kids. <laughs> cursed kids. You have a mom named Lois. Poor child. Poor child. Poor unfortunate soul. Make order of the Phoenix. I like the first one because they were so cute. All the little characters were so young and little. Yeah, watch the very first one because that one will get you hooked and you'll want to watch the rest. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
I'm about to mess this look up in a second because I gotta incorporate that silver in there somewhere. You read all the books too? Alright, now we're going to mess it up. You ready? I have to incorporate this over. I have something in my head. I don't know if it's going to pan out the way that it's that it looks in my head, but we're going to try. Uh, I, I really don't want to use this silver, but we're going to have to incorporate it. So I'm going to take it and just put it really close to the lash line, like smudge it. Like make it just like right down on the lash line. And then it's going to look like it just melts away as it goes up. I don't want to put it any higher than that. Just along the lash line. And you know how I feel about an all shimmery look. I really don't like them. I feel like if you do a shimmer, your shimmer should be the highlight. Actually, I'm not going to go all the way across. I'm going to leave it right there. Your shimmer should be the highlight of your look, of your eye look. So I hate do doing all of these shimmery colors. And one look, but you gotta use what you drew for luck of the wheel. And I have been crossing them off as I'm using them. So now I don't have to worry about reusing one color and never getting through all my eyeshadows. Who am I kidding? I'm never getting through them all anyway. No, Shelly, you cannot. You're a cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Do you? You have all the whole series. I have them all on demand. <laughs> I'm not storing them in my house. I got too much junk as it is. All right. Yes. Yes. There's six colors. I have all of your stuff. I put them separate in a thing so I can wrap them. I have them in my bag. Yep, you got like six or seven. There, I got them put up. <laughs> they do, they have wands. Yeah, so you got one of each color, and they and I bought every single color that they had. So you got one of every color. Yay! I know, I know, I'm so excited. I want you to tell me if you like them because um, I did ship out some of them to some people yesterday with with their um, stuff they bought from me. So they'll get them, but I was so impressed by like the coverage and the staying power of those lip liners. Like, holy crap. And then the lipsticks. Like, this is one of them. This is one of the shades you're going to get. This is this is the burgundy one. Do you see that? It's completely matte. It is... They're punch proof, dude. Look. 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 Nice. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one. So there's two reds in there. This one's the darker one. This one's called Vivid Burgundy. And then they have another one called Dark Rufus. Sounds like doofus. <laughs> like every time I read it, it's like doofus. It's Rufus. Dark Rufus. I know a Rufus. Isn't that weird? Like, yeah. Okay. So that's all I'm doing with the silver. <laughs> I don't want to do anything else with it. All right. There's a color in this um, Makeup Revolution palette, and it's called Luster. So I'm going to use this one. Oops. Sorry. It's called Luster. Let me know. You can video call me if you want, and I want to see what they got. Would they think you're crazy if you're walking around video chatting with me, and I tell you, get this or get that? 
You can ask me too. What do you think about that? I'll tell you. Like, girl, don't waste your money. Because most likely I probably already bought something like it. If you can find the brand Absolute New York, which you did send me a an eyeshadow palette, Absolute New York, they have the there's a palette. Oh my gosh, hold on, I'll have to show it to you. If you can find it in there, buy it, girl. But it's it is twenty dollars already, so I can't buy them for me to sell because they're already twenty dollars, and I would feel bad charging you guys so much. Hi, Colleen. For a palette, like I would have to charge you more than twenty for this one palette. But they come in two different sh two different um, I was going to say two different shades, but there's two different palettes, and, um, the one I have is the Sahara Sunset, or Sahara something, it is so pretty, it's got a lot of eyeshadows in it, and the pans are pretty good size, so it's a good deal for $20, but like a stupid YouTube, it keeps restarting. Gypsy store. <laughs> That's kind of random, isn't it? Let me see if you guys have a look. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that same color harmony right under the eye. Why why does she call it that? Just out of curiosity. Alright, remember the under eye primer that I put under there? That's why I like using it because it really grabs the color. So if you have any eyeshadow that just sucks and you're trying to use it under the eye, it's not showing up, grab you some eyeshadow primer and put it under there. So Sandy, I don't know if you guys ever see her on here, Sandy Davis, she is in New Zealand, right? And I sent her a voice clip, I was talking back and forth with her, and she sent me a voice clip back, and I heard her voice for the first time, and I was like, listen to her accent, it's so cute. What? Anastasia, what did you do? Send us a picture. <laughs> I want to see now. I'm curious, girl. I want to know what you did. <laughs> You're too lazy. Yeah, I have to because I get bored easy with my stuff. <laughs> Alright, there's a color in here called Glam. I feel like I want to use that like right up in here. Cute. Okay. Alright, Glam. This is out of the Rue 21 palette. So I'm going to use a little bit. It's not going to be as vibrant right there, is it? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I need to go get my nails done today. I got one broken one. <laughs> a country hick. That's funny. That's so funny. Like my mom, my mom's side of the family, they're all, um, they're all like backwoods. <laughs> Love you, mom. They're all like backwoods, so a lot of them have like my uncles and all them, they all have like a country accent. And then my dad's side of the family are Filipino, so that's just a really strange uh, combination there. So, I'll, you know, we'll go on Christmas, on holidays, we go from like one house where they're all like, how y'all doing? To, to uh, you know, 
Asian accent. They're they're all talking. Half of them are talking in Filipino. In Tagalog. Tagalog. And then they didn't teach our generation, so it's just the adults that speak them. That speak it. My dad was so funny because his accent was so thick that um, he would say pinger instead of finger. So my kids, <laughs> my kids would talk like that. LJ one time was um, upset because he, something happened to his finger, and he goes, "My finger hurts." I'm like, oh my goodness, I was dying. I'm like, you're what? Oh, so funny. Okay. I'm going to go back into the Revolution palette and get a little bit of that color real. And we're going to put that right under here. This is where I wish I already had my gel liners from because my colored ones. I would use a brown one right now. I feel like that's not doing anything. They have brow stick on. I'll come do your brows. Or you come to me. Every day. Until they grow back. We'll shave them all off. Then balls in your court. You can do anything you want with your brows. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use this other brown. There's a brown called Stone. How did your mom... Oh, <laughs> you don't want to know how my mom and dad met. <laughs> so my dad that raised me is... Um, he, he wasn't my biological dad, but he's the only dad that I know. Okay, and as luck may have it, my dad was dating my mom's identical twin sister. <laughs> That's how they met. My mom stole him. She snatched him up. <laughs> yes. My mom stole my dad right from her sister who was married she said say that again what did you say yeah you heard right my dad was dating my mom's identical twin sister who was married I can't okay here we go he didn't know she was married yeah, she, he, and my mom felt bad for him, so she started talking to him, and eventually they ended up getting together. It was, it was to the point, Amanda asked me if my dad was her dad. <laughs> My dad, he couldn't have children um, biologically, <laughs> so she was safe there. <laughs> so terrible, ain't it? Oh man, I love you, Amanda. <laughs> Aww. That's funny. You, you married somebody you couldn't stand. That's hilarious. Alright. I have an interesting life. Oh my gosh. Joe's broke down, I guess. He says the water pump went out on this truck. He just texted me. Well, I guess that means you, like, want me to come save you now? Hmm. <laughs> Jerry Springer! <laughs> No, ma'am, you didn't hear it wrong. Mm -mm. You heard it all right. Yeah, they do cook a lot of stuff. Lumpia is my favorite that they make. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. All right, so I bought a high, some highlighting palettes and I am selling these, but these are huge palettes. And I'm going to show them to you because you'll want to know what they're like. So I found them again when I went to the store. Boom, yeah! <laughs> Save a joke. 
I am busy. I got stuff I gotta do. So they come with four shades like this. Huge. Isn't this huge? Look at these. You will never need another palette again. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. So the names are Canary, Dandelion, Coco, and Iris. So today I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Canary today. It's like a pinky gold shade. I love this palette and this is a huge palette so it's gonna cost a little more but it's so worth it. Do you, wow, I mean it is so pretty. Ooh. Okay. What time is it? 7.41, okay. Right, there we go. Exactly. Well, he's got people to say I can save him. Friends at work or whatever. They're probably closer than I am. Good thing he's got two trucks. You've never seen a live on YouTube? Well, welcome to mine. Make sure you subscribe while you're here because we do lives every other day. I say we because we're just like a whole bunch of us. They follow me from Facebook back to Facebook. You know, we do we do Facebook every other day and YouTube every other day. So, yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, I'm trying to get this back down in there, but I have to pull it out to do it because it's such a big palette. It's not going in. But yeah, this this palette I've had it for a while. I was so excited to see when it was when it came back in, because it's nice to have if you're not if you're not huge into collecting a whole bunch of different makeup, it's good to have like one good palette that you can have that you know is just awesome. All right, gotta do the jingle. Hi, Carleen. Okay, my jingle like subscribe and get notified what what like subscribe and get notified so there's three buttons you technically have to push if you like want to help me out and it's the like button the red subscribe button if you're not subscribed it's red and then the notification bell push it until it looks like the bell is dark with the lines on the outside I'm going to swatch all four shades in this palette so you can see before I put it away. But these are all four shades. There's one. That's the one I'm wearing. This one, which is more like a gold. That one. And this one. So that's all four shades. The, the brand of this is called B Beautiful. So it's the letter B. Beautiful. Now, on top. Oh, let me set my face one more time and then we're going to do eyeliner and lashes and lips. I cannot wait to do my creative look. I'm so excited. Don't forget to, forget to go vote over on Facebook for the look you want me to do. Are y'all all doing the jingle with me? With me? All right. I'm thinking I want to do a brown eyeliner today. What do you guys think? Did I? Don't I have a brown eyeliner? I have my calligraphy pen. I'll use my calligraphy one. Okay, here we go. Um. Uh. No, because what day was it? Yesterday? Day before. Day before, Yvonne got them. Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> but her, yes, because when I do those um, creative looks, they take me forever in a day. So you got to make sure, like, you got time to watch or you're skipping in and out because they are usually very long videos.
Okay. This thing has some crazy. The wonky eye. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, we all get a little wonky eye every once in a while, don't we? Like that's a little crooked. Okay, that's better. Do you want to pull that down? I don't know what it is about pulling the eyeliner just down just a little bit. I think it's so cute. Yeah, that back to Brazil palette's nice. You know what I really want is one of, I want that blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star. I want that so bad, but I don't want to pay $52 for the palette. It's kind of out of my price range. I'll have to save up. I'll really have to like make it a point to like do something special just to raise the money. So my kids are wanting to like raise their own money. So they want to take recycled bottles. This is their idea, okay? Tell me if you think this is cute or if you would buy them from my kids. They want to take recycled like, they want to recycle some bottles, um, like Gatorade bottles or whatever. Turn them into Halloween decorations that you can put like a a little like night light over or put it put it over a night light I don't know how they're planning to do it honestly but the way they explained it I'm trying to think about it how they said it but little decorations and then sell them Halloween decorations this is actually Tasha's idea she she was like do you think you would tell people in your videos about if I make these so they can buy them and I was like I guess, but you gotta make them look cute so people want them I don't want ugly decorations sitting around their house <laughs> Alright, I was going to bring that eyeliner down a little bit, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to need a loon. I'm going to use my brown eye uh, mascara today. My brown mascara. Yeah. Okay. I should make payments. I don't want no payments. <laughs> I don't want to do payments. I try to stay away from stuff like that. Try to save up for it and just get it. Just get it. That's how they get you. They own you forever <laughs> until you until you pay it all back. Like we own you. 
You don't know me. Okay. And I know this says it's a brown mascara, but it doesn't look like light. It's not a light brown. So I know people kind of freak out. My birthday is not until November, girl. The end of November. November 28th, to be exact. And I'll be 29 again. Can't, can't wait till I'm 29. So excited. Yeah, no, I nobody ever celebrates my birthday. I don't get gifts on my birthday. Um, I end up cleaning and cooking because it's usually Thanksgiving. And um, that's what I end up doing on my birthday. Like, nobody ever celebrates my birthday. I get happy birthdays on, on Facebook. But like not even my not even my husband tells me happy birthday on Facebook or nothing. He never even usually tells me directly. He usually has the kids tell me. He's like, go tell your mommy happy birthday. I'm like, oh thanks, okay. <laughs> In my dreams, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, Joe's in trouble for sure. Well, my mama does call me and tell me happy birthday. She's like the only one. No one else calls me. My sister. I lied. My sister does. If she remembers. <laughs> oh, that I'll be 29. I've been 29 for six years, and I don't plan to change that anytime soon. Mom, you've never heard me say that before. That's hilarious. I love that this mascara never freaking clumps, ever. Like, it never clumps. I put three layers of this mascara on and it still didn't clump. Aw, oh, thank you, Batty. Yes, thumbs up the video, girl. There's 19 of you and 10 thumbs up. If you don't like me, just thumbs it down. It's all the same. It helps me out if you thumbs it down, too. She's not getting sick again. <laughs> a happy birthday look. November 28th, yes. All right, I'm gonna go in with the second coat on this mascara. Is it the tips? There's Becky. Welcome to the world, Becky. She's up now. Good morning. These really like stretch out my lashes. Stretches them out. When did you do the blue lipstick? What do you mean? A while back, why? That's on my Instagram. And I think it posted to my Facebook. I was just playing with it. I didn't really like wear it out or anything. Oh, it's having an attitude. Do you use product in your hair? Mascara on my lashes. The stuff I was using yesterday. I don't think I got it all out. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's put some lashes on. Usually, but today, yeah. Oh, there's Joe. He's calling me. I'll have to decline that. Let me just call him on. Messenger. Waiting for it to come back. 
Alright, I need to finish my makeup, so let me put my headphones in while I talk to him because I ain't trying to slow down any more than I already am. He's slowing down the show. Calling really fast. Excited. I know. I don't know how I ever did makeup without did my lashes without this lash curler. Hey, did you call? Well, I'm I'm on my bit my video. The heck is it? Not yet. It's only seven fifty seven. They have to be there by eight thirty. I don't have to be there when the doors open at eight. Shelly's husband, um, he was in the hospital recently, I don't know. Um, I'll talk to him and see. Yeah, he's been having kidney stones and was like peeing and pooping blood out. And um, I don't know. I'll talk to him and see because I'm pretty sure they'll need the money. But yeah, I can I can ask Joe. Well, Sophia's supposed to go to Amy's house today. So. All right. He just, he's just peeing blood. Okay, he's peeing blood, not pooping blood. Okay. All right, I'm let you go. All right, bye. He was just asking if JR wanted to change the um, water pump on his Suburban, but if, um, if he's not feeling good, that's probably not a good idea. He said it's okay, he can ask somebody else to do it or he can do it himself. It'll just take him a year to do it, which he's not lying, it will take him a year to do forever. Alright, while the glue is getting tacky on that lash, I'm going to pick out the lipstick. Should I do an ombre lip with like this peachy color in the center? We don't want him to have to do it if he's not feeling good though. Baby girl's nine pounds. She's the toddler girl. <laughs> That's a toddler. All right, so ombre lip with the peach in the center. Got it, okay. So we'll probably do like a brown lip with a peach center. Center. A redwood color was really pretty. I got this out of um, Lip, Lip Monthly. It's not my favorite. It's a lip crayon. So I may end up selling some of those things that you have a lip on for me. Alright, I gotta find a peach. A peach lipstick. I know I got some in there somewhere. I got, a, I got every color you can think of. Alright, I'm gonna put these lashes on. Make sure I got the right ones on the right side. Okay, I think this is on the left. Yes. This is my left one. <laughs> Make sure they're on the right side. I hate that these are, I like them when, I like when the bands are curved, but not when they're too curved, that they're hard to put on. So I feel like they get stuck under your lashes. 
your natural lashes. I wish I had nice, thick, voluminous lashes. I didn't have to wear falsies. Kind of don't know how I feel about extensions. I don't know if I want to do extensions because that's something I would have to keep up with a lot. You have to like maintain those and get them done a lot, like fill ins, and they're expensive. I do have somebody that's trying to start their lash extensions extension business that said she'll do me some of the last extensions to help like advertise for her but I wonder if I'd have to pay for the fill-ins one of the, the holders I ordered a bunch of these so when I get them in I can let you know I ordered pink ones so when I get my pink ones these silver ones are going to be retired I'm going to start using pink ones I still need to put um, eyeliner in my waterline and tight line. Ah, pinched my eye. That was nice. These curlers make your your falsies and your natural lashes just feel like they're all one. Like they squeeze them together. So you don't feel like you see two sets of lashes and you don't feel like they're in your your lashes are in your line of sight. Like it curls them up and out of your line of sight. Which is a blessing because I don't want to sit there and look at lashes all day. He's got a 1990, I want to say it's a 98 Chevy Suburban. Pretty sure that's what it is. I feel like I, I'm going to put some black mascara on my bottom lashes. Because I just feel like they need a little extra boost. Because that brown, I feel like, is not bold enough for me right now. a little better. long lashes now. I do feel like they're sticking to my falsies. This band is so curved that it's trying to go down there and play with my bottom lashes. Like, stay in your lane. Alright. Primetime Lip Primer from Manicadar. I say that. It's Manicadar. I don't know why. I'm so happy. It's in the habit to say Manicadar. It's Manicadar. So, this stuff cancels out the color of your lips and smooths out the texture and like fills in any like fine lines on your lips if you have it so that really helps and the lip liner also doubles as the same agent as your lip primer so if you don't have lip primer do not fret do not fear you can do the same thing with that. i will find a peach or orangey looking it seems like straight orange Will that work? It probably won't be as... That's too pink. Alright, I'm going to use a brown. 
I'm going to use these two. Okay, so this is Redwood. This is one of the new ones from Nika K that um, was on my list of ones that I was selling. But this one is Madden's, you see, you cannot have it. So it's almost like a nude. I'm going to put this orange in the center. Hopefully it's not going to be too bright. I'm going to try to blend it out in the center. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to look. We're going to see. I kind of feel like I should almost go a tad bit darker with the nude. But I'm going to make this work. I'm going to use this pencil because it's the closest one that I see. Alright, so this one is a Sorme lip liner. I think I got this out of one of my subscription um, boxes. It might have been Lip Monthly, but it could have been Ipsy. It's a square pencil. It's really weird. Look, it's like square. Hi, Kathy. There you are. Yes. My shirts, pants, and dress sizes, girl, they're big. Just look for one that says fat. <laughs> That's mine. Castor oil, yeah, I think I do. I have really big feet, <laughs> too. Big feet run in my family. Even all my kids have big feet. My boys are like a size 13. And they're not done growing. Yeah, I wear a size 10 in shoes. I saw that you were posting something and tagged me, but I didn't have a chance to look at that yet, Amanda. This is such a pretty lip pencil. Okay, I figured that's what it was. I'm so excited! I can't believe it's only two weeks away. I'm ready. I'm ready. I have another helper if we need it. She's going to be riding with me. This is a pretty color. This is, um, what color did I say this was? Redwood. Her name is, uh, Rose Looney. She does watch the video. She goes to church with me. The lip liner is a smear-proof lip liner by Sorme Treatment Cosmetics in the shade Tease. That sounds like, like a Kathy name. Yes, yes. Okay. 
Now, we're going to let that dry for just a sec. I have a couple minutes and I got to go. So, this we are right on time. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. All right. So, I'm going to let that just dry for a sec. Five foot five. A Kathy name. So, the name of the lip liner is called Tease. <laughs> that reminds me of your lipstick you got from me. Mm hmm You know which one that is. You'll be getting that soon. Okay, I'm waiting for this lipstick to dry. Okay, Mom. Alright. I might just have to go ahead and go in with this lipstick. You know what they say about big men with big feet? They buy big shoes. That's what they say. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this lipstick. This is the orange. It doesn't even have a shade name on it. Oh, that's bright. Okay, here I go. I knew, a, I knew a guy that used to wear big shoes just because of that rumor. Like, they were too big for his feet. Back in school. He used to wear big shoes. This actually doesn't look too bad. My like, dude, you ain't tricking nobody. When you go to dress out for gym, everybody sees your little bitty feet. They know what's up. And then when you go play football out there with everybody else, your shoe goes flying off because your shoes are too big. When you go to kick the ball. I was like, dude, why are you wearing such big shoes? <laughs> like, hello. Like, you know why he's wearing big shoes. Either he ain't got no money and he's wearing his brother's shoes. Or homie straight up lying. Lying. I'm going to go ahead and bring this out a little bit more. That's what I plan to do. Because I actually kind of like this color. But I like the first color I used too. like it's a little patchy right there. Why isn't the color staying there? I feel like the color keeps coming off in that one spot. like I put way too much on the bottom. The top's okay, but the bottom is a little different than what I wanted. That's patchy right there. See right there? It's not sticking. Yeah, it's not doing good right there. Let me see if I can fix it with a wipe. Redo it. I think I put too much on it.
Okay, this works. Now I got to do this whole bottom lip again. Here it goes. Maybe I should just go in with the orange one. Stupid YouTube. It does, thank you. Oh, that's better. Much better. Okay. Fixed it. Does it look weird? Kind of looks weird though, doesn't it? You just now getting up? It could be the brush, yeah. Maybe it's just got, I need to clean it. It's got a lot of product on it. But, all right, that's it for today. This is today's look. Just shook by my makeup look. This orange lipstick, girl, is a trip, ain't it? You know what, I think I wanna do one more thing with it. I don't know how, I'm, I don't know if I really like the, uh, the, uh, the orange a whole lot, but I do have something I can put through for that. This color change thing. Thank you. Color charge, sorry, color charge. Just take a little bit on your finger. It's like wearing lip gloss without wearing lip gloss. Because it's very shiny. like gloss without the stickiness. They did have this in gold too, but I'm using the holographic one. That kind of stuff, that made it a little more subtle. I like that because it looks more like the color of my shirt now instead of just straight up orange. <laughs> Looking like I just rolled up out a pumpkin patch. Okay, now I'm done for real this time. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. Thank you guys for hanging out. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and follow me over on to Facebook tomorrow. So, um, <laughs> yeah, follow me over on Facebook because tomorrow we're going to be over there. And I haven't figured out exactly what day. I'm hoping Saturday will be the day that I do my creative look now that we have 10 of those eyeliners sold. So, yes, yes, yes. Make sure you go over there and you vote on the look you want me to do. And you can only have one vote. If I see you voting more than one for one, I'm going to delete your comment and it's not going to count. So you're going to have to go back in and do it again. So get your vote in and do it right. No cheating. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.